we are back with another Little Cup World Cup game. This time we're playing against US West, and I'm using a team built around Swords Dance Ponyard. And yeah, I expect this game to be a lot of fun. Okay, and not the worst matchup in the world. So he's using like a fire spam team, but I have Sturdy Onyx. That is already really good. I'll have to keep Stealth Rock off for it to actually work though. Scarf Magnemite is decent. I mean, not really. Charmander is going to be annoying. Sucker Pawn is good. Abra with Focus Sash is good. Yeah, I really like the matchup. I do have to be careful, but I I don't hate the matchup. I have Focus Ash, I have Sturdy, so I can take these powerful attacks and live the hits, right? So maybe I can lead Mianfu. I could lead Diglett. I have Protect as well to stall out Sun Turns. I really like the matchup here. I don't remember the items on these things, though. I don't know what set Diglett is. This is a very standard team, but I don't remember what sets these actually are. So do I lead Onyx and just go for the Earthquake? I mean, is he really going to lead Timber? No way, right? So I can lead Onyx probably. Because he's going to expect the Mianfu lead. So... Will, actually, will he lead Timber predicting my Diglett lead? Because Diglett, Diglett can lead turn 1 and trap Vulpix, right? Um, so I do have some decisions to make. I'm feeling like Mianfu is just the safest option. It covers everything. Yeah, he does lead Diglett, so he's probably going to get Stealth Rock up. So, I'll be happy to make that trade. Like, I do lose my Sturdy on Onyx with the Stealth Rock going up. Okay, it's Protect. Um, yeah. Let's just knock off here. Yeah, he's going to get the Stealth Rock up, so I'm not going to have my Sturdy. Let's really calc how much Onyx takes from Ponyta and Charmander and all that. So he's going to, like, Memento, right? I feel like I don't even have- yeah, he's going to Memento, then go to Vulpix, right? Um, yeah, I'll just knock off then. Yeah, I just want to stay in front of it. If he goes to Vulpix, I might be able to U-turn on that as well. Is it a Jack Pack? Let's just really quickly run Mianfu Calps. He goes to Ponyard? Um... Okay. I mean, you're just giving up the high jump kick now. He's going to sacrifice a Diglett, I assume. Oh, I am slower than the Mianfu, which is slightly unfortunate. Like, I'm running a very bulky Mianfu, so I am slower than Ponyard right now. Hopefully, he'll go to Diglett. Like, I don't think he would sacrifice Pawn here. So, hopefully, he predicts me to be fast Mianfu. Hopefully, he predicts that. But he might sacrifice Ponyard. He might, I think he'll definitely sacrifice Diglett here, if I had to guess. Let's just run Calc's Vulpix uh, versus my Mianfu. This is the wrong set, whatever, uh, 252, right? So Overheat does not one-hit KO, that's good to know. Yeah, so I'm hoping, yeah, I'm basically hoping that the bluff works, that he thinks I am 17 speed, and he'll go to Diglett, hopefully. Okay, he sucker punches, so yeah, that worked out. That worked out. He goes to Vulpix now, but we live the hit, right? So it does, I'm at, how much HP am I at? I'm at 21. Okay, so kind of I don't actually live the hit. Like, if I'm at 21, right? Overheat has a chance of KO. It's unlikely if you count in mischance as well. Um, but it's going to be annoying, right? So, this has a... It's like Overheat Eject Pack, if I'm not wrong. So, Overheat Eject Pack, do I go to Onyx immediately? I could go to Onyx immediately for that. Um, it's a tough decision, right? So Eject Pack, he's going to um, Eject Pack, Overheat. It has a chance to kill. If it doesn't kill, I High Jump Kick and I get good damage. I oh, know I U-turn on the Diglett, right? That's one option, right? Or if it does kill me, then I kind of lose Mianfu for nothing. If I go to Onyx on the Overheat, let me see if it triggers Berry Juice. It should, right? I mean... Yeah, Overheat does trigger my Sturdy Berry Juice, so he'll Eject Button into, into Onyx, and then I can probably get my Stealth Rock up, right? I mean... Yeah, Stealth Rock up for Ponyta. I do have Focus Ash Abra. I do have Sucker Pawn, so maybe getting Stealth Rock is valuable. I mean... It's tough to say, really. I could go Onyx Eject Button and he'll sacrifice a Diglett, probably. Um, 
time on the clock. Basically, do I want to risk my Mianfu on like a 20%, I mean like on a around a 40% chance to die? I don't. Let me go to Onyx. I don't want to risk Mianfu here. If he Does he Energy Ball? Okay, he doesn't. Okay. It is not Eject Button. Good to know. Do I Earthquake or do I Stealth Rock? This is a speed tie. I feel like I can Earthquake, maybe? Or should I Stealth Rock then boom on maybe Timber, for example? Let's just get Stealth Rock up. Yeah, I think Stealth Rock is going to be good versus Ponyta, Charmander, Vulpix. Yeah, Stealth Rock is good. And I think you maybe go to Timber here. I feel like you would go to Timber, right? How much does Diglett Sucker Punch do to Charmander? Charmander... Diglett, Life Orb, let's count that, Sucker Punch, yeah, that is so weak, okay. So he went for the speed tie, we're gonna go for the speed tie as well, should we boom? I think we can boom, yeah, I think we can, like, I, like, if he goes for the speed tie, I die, right? I mean, yeah, let's boom here. I think he might go to Timber, for example, and there's no point keeping an Onyx at low health, so we can boom. If he wins the speed tie, then we Oh, what if it's Flame Charge? What if it's Flame Charge? Not a big deal. Okay. Because I can go to Mianfu or something. Right, okay. So we'll try and boom Knockout Vulpix here, and if we faint, we can trap with Diglett again. At some point, I think sacrificing Magnemite might be a good idea. It's not incredibly useful. Choice Scarf outsped by Charmander, Ponyta can get Flame Charges up, it's not amazingly useful, so... Yeah, he has to make a decision right now. Does he go for the Speed Tie? I don't think you do. I think you go to either Diglett or Timber here. I don't think you go for a Speed Tie. I think I'm looking really good with Fake Out Mianfu, Sucker Punch Diglett, Sucker Punch Ponyard, Focus Sash Abra, I think I'm looking really good. Hopefully we win the Speed Tie, but you never know, right? Yeah, I think this is totally fine. Okay, that's good. That is really good. Now, we can go... Um, what do we go to, right? So we win the speed tie there. Do we go to Mianfu so we can fake out anything we want? We could do something like that. We could go to... I'm kind of weak to Timber. I have to be careful about that. So I, if I lead Diglett into the Ponyta, I get a free kill, right? Um, will he even do that though? Will he lead Timber instead? Basically, I want to make the decision that covers as many potential lead options as I can. Let's lead Mianfu. Right? I mean, Mianfu can cover as many lead options as it can, right? Because it can fake out Charmander, for example. Fake out Ponyta. Uh, fake out, well not fake out, it can U-turn on Diglett too. Let's lead Mianfu. He has five turns of Sun. If I can stall those out, I think I'll be good. Okay, good lead, good lead. We can fake out here, and then we trap with Diglett after we sacrifice Magnemite. 24, solar power damage, sacrifice Magnemite. Uh, Diglett, just double check the calc, right? Sucker Punch does knock it out, okay. And let's stall out Sun turns just a little more. Let's protect to stall out one more turn. Okay, now we can Sucker Punch. There we go. And now I think Focus Hash Abra can deal with Ponyta to an extent. I do have to be careful about Timber. Timber is the one like Achilles heel to my team because half my team is weak to it. So I'll have to keep Abra at good health. Mianfu can 1v1 Timber because the reason I'm slow Mianfu is... Okay, so you go to Timber here. Um, I think I just Earthquake for Chip, right? Yeah, the reason I'm slow Mianfu is so that I can have maximum defense to deal with Pokemon like Timber and stuff. So, let's Earthquake for chip damage. 48, yeah, fine. He drains almost all of it back. Let's Fake Out. And he, he, he made a good decision to keep Diglett alive because it's really annoying for Abra. So, Fake Out, Knock Off, High Jump Kick, and we are really bulky, so we should be able to deal with, you know, Physical Diglett, Physical Ponyta, uh, Physical Timber. 
I don't think you sacrifice Diglett here, do you? I think you maybe go to Ponyta. Yeah, I think this is a winning endgame. Because you're gonna be, you might have to dodge a high jump kick. That might be your best uh, play, actually, to try and try and dodge high jump kick. Uh, let's see what happens though. Because I think you kind of have to eat the fake out, eat the knockoff as well. Um, let's just run the calcs again. Timber. I don't know the EV spread. I don't know the EV spread. Um, let's calc the EV spread, right? So Diglett did 48 with earthquake. That is a standard roll. So 156 defense, right? Yeah, so let's assume this is the set. Okay, what did he do? Fake out, okay. Knock off, okay. Trading knock off, high jump kick will knock this out. Hopefully I don't miss the attack. And I think we, we should be good. Assuming high jump kick doesn't miss the attack, right? I'm actually getting kind of scared. What if I lose to Ponyta? Will that happen? No, I don't think it'll ever happen because Mianfu is maximum bulk, right? He can try and maybe Mac Punch Trap with Diglett. Okay, he's trying that. We knock it out, okay. Now, do you go to Diglett here? You do go to Diglett. Do you even trap me? I don't think you do. Yeah, you don't. Okay. Yeah, that's why we ran maximum bulk on Abra. Um, let's just make sure we don't throw this game away. Ponyta, Berry Juice, Abra, Focus Ash. So this is not a one-hit KO. Uh, do I counter? I feel like... See, Thunder Wave can miss, right? So I don't want to do that. Counter, Flame... Yeah, I can counter the Flame Shards. Okay. There we go. I think we win. Yeah, we win. Okay. Good game, and we outlast the sun today. If you like this type of live content, make sure to like and subscribe.